Kemba Walker is one of the better point guards of this generation of NBA players. And when it comes down to it, after a few seasons with the Boston Celtics, the fit simply was not there. From being a third fiddle to Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, to uh, having knee injuries and really a large contract that just limits what the Celtics can do going forward under new management with Brad Stevens. It now has Kemba Walker and the Boston Celtics deciding to mutually split ways and request to trade this NBA offseason, guys. For this video, we are going to discuss which teams Kemba Walker makes the most sense to go to. Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So it's been confirmed by multiple sources that Kemba Walker and the Boston Celtics are agreeing to part ways this NBA offseason. When it comes down to it, man, um, I've been saying for a while that Kemba Walker, just like his skill set, does not really mesh well with the Boston Celtics. He's definitely more of a bucket-getting type of point guard like he showed on the Charlotte Hornets for many seasons. Uh, when it comes down to it, like this Celtics team, they already have Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, two guys that at this point you would prefer the ball to be in their hands, you know, when it comes down to it, right, man? So, you know, Kemba decent playmaker not the greatest playmaker though uh just you know playing simple men they need a third to fourth option type of point guard that definitely is more about defense and making plays for others right so for today's video we are going to be talking about some different trade uh proposals out there and really some teams that make sense not only for kemba but also for the boston celtics if you guys don't mind dropping that like 1000 likes is always the goal and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel so uh yeah Right now, the, the, the biggest glaring issue with Kemba Walker is that he's got a pretty large contract. Uh, but beyond that, also, he was coming off the uh, knee injuries, right, man? Like, the knee injuries is definitely something that you uh, are very wary of if you're a team that's trying to maybe trade for Kemba Walker to get your team to the next tier. He's 30 years of age, played 43 games last season. Uh, looking at his numbers right now, though, man, like last season for the Celtics, he averaged 19 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds per game. Um, I mean, the, the the numbers are right around his career average. So I don't think it was a case where he had like this big, huge fall off. It's just he didn't really work well with the Celtics, right? That makes complete sense. But he's still a really good basketball player, man. He had, he had like some really good games out there. Uh, maybe not exactly what they were looking for in the playoffs from him and stuff. But uh, for the most part, I still think Kemba Walker is a great point guard, assuming he can stay healthy. So as far as the trade ideas, it sounds like one that's kind of being tossed around as maybe a point of interest and a destination for Kemba is the OKC Thunder. Um, I don't know if I totally agree with this. Now, when it comes down to it, the OKC Thunder, they have a bajillion draft picks over the next few seasons. So it is one of those cases that maybe they did with CP3 where they can get a guy like Kemba Walker because for one, they can afford to do it. They got so many young players on their team, uh, but also they can compete, sell tickets, you know, make that revenue, uh, but also have the draft picks to also rebuild, man. It's one of those weird situations where you can be good, but still rebuild at the same time. So that would kind of be the idea behind getting Kemba Walker on that team. Uh, as far as a trade to get it done, I mean, if you really think about it, I'm sure some draft picks could be tossed around there when you got so many of them like that. You don't mind giving up one or two first round draft picks and I'm sure the Celtics would uh, more than willing be you would to like take on those draft picks just because they've always done pretty good as far as drafting players, um, especially picks that are from other teams like the Brooklyn Nets. We all remember that, uh, you know, like Jason Tatum, I believe, was supposed to be that draft pick, right? Uh, but also, as far as tossing, like, some filler players, really the only name that comes to mind, because you have to match the contract, right, would be Al Horford. I don't know if uh, that's, like, a thing that Celtic fans want is a reunion with Al Horford uh, for the next few seasons, but they could use some help at center, and, you know, Al Horford was really good there um, for the season he played, so he, maybe he could pick up right where he left off, but uh, he's, his contract's also pretty long, so I don't know if they really want to time that much money. Uh, it would probably take at least two first-round draft picks to take on Al Horford, and uh, maybe also, like, a Theo Mal somebody like that just like a good young point guard that they can put into their system because you know by trading away Kemba Walker that does leave like a glaring weakness at the point guard spot for the Celtics I mean there is guys out there like Mike Conley Kyle Lowry uh Goran Dragic so there, there are gonna be guys in free agency that can definitely take that spot but uh yeah that is gonna be one thing that they really have to focus on with a trade is we also gotta like hey fill in this point guard spot for next season and uh the Celtics are looking to get better they're looking to compete they just made some big changes in the front office so uh, whoever the new coach is I mean you know, which really going to just be a big time move and who's going to be that leader floor general at the point guard spot with these young ones out there, right, man? Uh, so another team that I was kind of considering, and I just have a feeling this is going to happen. I think the Pelicans make a lot of sense, man. Now, Lonzo Ball is a free agent. They have Eric Bledsoe, who uh, I'm not a big fan of Eric Bledsoe, but, uh, you know, to me, Kemba Walker, he just kind of fits a Stan Van Gundy style of offense, you know, and I, I feel like just him out there on the court, 
he would really have free reign to get some buckets playing with zion and brandon ingram now in my opinion he would still be the third option on the team but uh i just feel like you know for what I, I i've been hating the eric bledsoe at shooting guard thing that just makes no sense so um to get any sort of trade here i'm thinking it would probably need to be something like steven adams i think steven adams makes a lot of sense for the celtics just getting like a good you know doesn't need the ball in his hands to switch up the game type of center uh but also i'm wondering if celtics would be willing to take on eric bledsoe i mean you know call it like it is uh the milwaukee bucks got way better when eric bledsoe was not on the team but you know he's not like a heavily offensively usage type of point guard so that could work with the uh celtics he's a pretty solid defender you know playmaking's fine so that could work in a bad core with marcus smart and you know we're on with jason tatum and jalen brown um and like i said the steven adams would be the big time acquisition this is more so like we get adams out of this a guy that just works at the center spot for this team and also like eric bloods is like well we need a point guard so we might as well toss him in there but uh yeah i'm not quite sure how celtic fans feel about that but kemba with zion and uh ingram and you know really opening up opportunities to get somebody else makes a lot of sense or maybe you do a sign trade or a three-way trade and you get miles turner over on the pelicans and i don't know man there's a lot of different ways you can look at it right uh, another team that I think definitely has a high chance of going for Kemba Walker would be at the Chicago Bulls. And I think there's, uh, you know, a good solid way to get this done. For one, the idea there is to team up Kemba with Zach Levine. That would be one of the more dynamic scoring backcourts in the entire NBA. But to do so, I'm thinking once again, you're looking at like a sign and trade of Laurie Markkinen. And uh, you're probably tossing in Kobe White as the young player, you know, to go to the Celtics. Um, I guess Laurie is also young himself. But uh, I guess what I don't totally like about that is that Markkinen to me is really only a power forward i guess he can play some center but you don't absolutely love him at that position so uh if you're doing that then kobe white's probably coming off the bench and you're running something like marcus smart jalen brown jason tatum laurie at the four spot and whoever you get for the center spot so uh yeah once again not like the ideal player to get but uh you know both young players and laurie market and kobe white if one of the guys doesn't work on the team then they will probably be good trade bait anyway and uh collectively speaking you know instead of paying 30 plus million dollars for Kemba Walker you might be paying over time like 15 million dollars for these two separate players and you know, I assume somebody else will have to be tossed in there to make it work because you're not giving Laurie Mark in the sign trade of 30 plus million dollars and Kobe White still on a rookie deal so maybe like a Thaddeus Young or someone along those lines or a Denzel uh Valentine gets tossed in somebody like that right uh another team that I think kind of makes sense without giving up too much this is another one of those cases where I'm not giving up a billion players to get him because the team's already in a good direction and that's new york knicks i feel like kemba at the point guard spot would bring a lot of you know offense and take some pressure off julius randall especially in clutch moments and uh to do so i'm thinking something along the lines of like mitchell robinson and some salary cap to kind of make things work with the trade right the reason i like that a lot is for one you know mitchell robinson going to the boston celtics i mean that's just a good solid center they already have robert williams but uh you can let both those guys play out their split minutes at the center spot they're both young centers so give them both a shot and see who stands up the most uh, mitch robinson does have foul trouble so even use him as like a six-man center would be great and uh let, letting robert williams be the full-time starter so you got that and uh yeah and then obviously for the knicks it makes sense because mitch robinson does get injured quite a bit he does get in a lot of foul trouble nerdless all was pretty damn solid for them already and uh, you get your future you get your point guard for the next few seasons that can kind of take this team to the next level with kemba walker ideally speaking and uh one final trade and like i said man like you guys let me know in the comment section below what trades you like because i'm sure there's a ton of them that i probably missed but uh these are some teams that kind of came to my mind i was thinking maybe the orlando magic now to do this one this is a bit of an overpay this is a bit of a just like toss at the end right here but something with like jonathan isaac and or markel Fultz uh with the emphasis being on jonathan isaac if they could get isaac over on this celtics team what he can bring defensively uh and yet again like being able to be like an efficient offensive player but low usage would be huge for the celtics man like oh my god can you imagine jonathan isaac and marcus smart on the basketball court together that defense is going to be elite unstoppable right so uh and then kevin walker going to the magic i mean gives them a you know go-to scoring guard on the team maybe they go and sign somebody like demar Derozan. now that does kind of go against everything of what they did last season with uh trading away all their assets just to like get into a new rebuild and stuff but regardless they're still going to get a good draft pick this year so let's say the uh market let, let's say that uh the magic gets somebody like an evan mobley or some sort of solid shooting guard or whatever small forward then by getting kemba walker you uh you know you have a veteran out there to take some pressure off the rookie show him the reins of the team and uh go from there man even Cade cunningham would work in the backcourt with kemba walker so there's a lot of veteran leaderships i mean uh 
you want your team to rebuild, but you also want them to be competitive. And uh, I think it's okay to have a guy like Kemba Walker on your team if you are in a rebuild. I don't think there's any issues with that whatsoever. But out of all the trades, the team that I like the most is the Pelicans. I could definitely see the OKC Thunder happening. Uh, I think Celtic fans, okay, like this is going to be interesting with Celtic fans here, man, because Danny Ainge is no longer the uh, top dog out there. And uh, we all know when it comes down to making trades with the Celtics, like Danny Ainge is a bit of a finesse, right? Like he definitely is looking for the best deal possible. Nothing wrong with that, but uh, over time teams will no longer trade with you or they won't really respect you or listen to you and trade offers. So we got Brad Stevens, man, uh, perhaps pulling off his first time trade. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what type of trade value, because I, I, I know all the Celtic fans are still going to have that Danny Ainge mindset where it's like, okay, okay, we want, uh, we want Anthony Davis. Uh, we want LeBron James. Uh, and we want Bronny James on our team, and we also want 17 first round picks. Like, that's not gonna happen for Kemba Walker, I'm sorry to say. The numbers are still good. Injury plus contract leaves you a little sketchy right there, but uh, overall, man, I think, you know, Kemba and Celtics will find a beneficial offer and trade destination for both sides. That's all we got for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and peace out, my friends.